Hey guys, you are on the Arterios channel and today we continue talking about VPN services. Today you will find out the free version of Proton VPN, what is the functionality and features of the application. We will also run tests that will help you find out if the service is safe and whether it meets the developer's claim. Let's go! I go to the vendor website and see versions for Android, iPhone and iPad, Windows, macOS, Linux, Chromebook, Android TV. For my review, I will use a Windows desktop application, Windows 10 Pro on my computer. I choose one of 12 languages, upload, and done. Before I can use VPN, I have to register. To be honest, I don't like it. I don't need my inbox stuffed with promo emails. Many VPNs work without account. Next, I choose a tariff plan free or VPN Plus. The first option allows me to make one VPN connection, meaning I can use the application on multiple devices at the same time on the register account. Gives me access to five servers in three countries at medium speed and in addition a strict no logs policy. In the paid version, 10 VPN connections, malware and ad blockers, streaming servers around the world, P2P and BitTorrent, secure core servers, Tor over VPN. I'm currently choosing the free option. I verify the identity via CAPTCHA, email or SMS. A tricky way to find out our number. And that's it. By default, I'm redirected to a site where you can change the subscription plan, change the interface, set up your account information and, by the way, turn off the email newsletter here. By default, it's all turned on. I return to the application and go to the account. By the way, I received a registration notification on my mail, although I turned off the mailing list in the settings. Ok, the interface is very nice and easy to use. The map of the world greets you. The purple triangles are the location of available servers to connect to. Grey colored ones are for pro users. Interestingly, even in the free version, there are locations that give the best performance for BitTorrent and file sharing and one location that routes your internet traffic through the Tor network, slower but more private. If I'm only interested in speed, I can choose the fastest server or turn on a random one. My opportunities as a user of the free version on the main page have ended. If I were a pro user, I could also enable secure core, net shield, kill switch, port forwarding on the main page. Settings, general, connection and advanced. General allows you to change the language, change the quick connection to a specific profile, set the application to launch quickly, turn on notifications and get early access to updates. In the connection tab, you can change the protocol, enable performance improvements, disable local address, mapping randomization and enable custom DNS servers. And the last step is advanced settings. Here we see that DNS leak protection is always enabled and you can also enable slit tunneling. The help button doesn't work, that is, it takes me to the application website, but where to click next, you need to figure it out yourself. I cannot correspond with the operator directly on the website, this is frustrating. Moreover, when I write to support, I need to enter a minimum of 100 characters. In general, everything is done so that a user has to find answer on their own. Report an issue, that is closer to what I was looking for, but you still need to write to email, there is no chat. And the answer came to me the next day. Security, speed and access. Well, now let's move on to the evaluating of the security, the speed and access to restricted websites, all essential features of any VPN client. Let's start with a simple one, privacy policy. I'm interested in whether the developer collects information about the user. I will read as it is written. Proton VPN is a no logs VPN service. When you use the service, we do not do any of the following. Log users' traffic of the content of any communications, discriminate against devices, protocols or applications, throttle your internet connection. Further on, it is stated that ProtonVPN collects information about account creation, support, payment. And how can this data be used? Again, I read as it written. Disclosure of your information. We will only disclose the limited user data we possess when compelled by law for the purposes of prevention, investigation, detection or prosecution of criminal offenses or the execution of criminal penalties, including the safeguarding against and prevention of threats to public security. 
foreign authorities data request must be approved by compliance with authorities. That's all good, I should say. Keep in mind that the company is located in Switzerland, which has one of the best privacy laws. In addition, the paid version has a QR code. When this option is enabled, your internet traffic is routed through a central server to a normal VPN server. This may pretend VPN protects your data even if one of the regular servers. When this option is enabled, your secure traffic is routed through a central server to a normal VPN server. This way, Proton VPN protects your data even if one of the regular servers is hacked. But what really puts security into question is the lack of an emergency shutdown in the free version. A second of VPN interruption and your IP is in full view, so to say. Next, I will run five tests. The first one is the speed test. On the screen, you can see the test results before connecting to the VPN and after connecting to the fastest VPN. Download speed dropped by more than five times. Of course, such a difference will be noticeable. The second test, DNS leak test. And it is failed. A leak has occurred. DNS queries can go directly to your ISP's DNS server, which will expose your real location. The next test that is also important for me – geotest. An interesting result. It does not show my real location, but it does not show the one that I chose in Proton VPN. IP test – pass. Only the address I have selected is displayed here. Real-time communication test – each server copes without any problem. And the last test – blacklist status – to see whether my fake IP address provided by Proton VPN are blacklisted anywhere. My result – about 2% databases blacklist the IP address. This is a good result. And now quickly about the prices and we will sum up. There are two subscription options – VPN Plus and Proton Unlimited. The price for the first option is $4.99 per month and for the second one – $7.99. And that's a lot for Proton VPN. Also, at first it seemed to me that the functionality deserves its money. But no matter how many interesting features there are inside this service, if it does not cope with basic functions, I will not pay for additional functionality. Also of WOS quality. After all, the leak protection was turned on, but it didn't work. What I like. The application warns you in advance about the consequences of enabling or disabling a function. For example, speed will be higher, but security will decrease. Thus, you can independently adapt the VPN to your needs. Convenient and modern interface. It is taken into account that the user does not know many terms. The next one – privacy policy and company location. And access to websites, of course. And what I didn't like. Mixed geotest result, DNS leak, cannot be used without registration, terrible support work, low speed, and high price. For some reason, my overall impression of the review remained positive. But let's be objective. Poor speed, poor security. Whatever the positive aspects of this service, the shortcoming of these points cross out everything. Whatever the positive aspects of the service, the shortcoming on these points cross out everything. That is why I do not recommend using this app. So if you liked it, like this video and write in comment what VPN service to consider next.